So a bit about the history of aviation, it goes back a really, really long way. One of the first pioneers of aviation was Leonardo da Vinci, a very famous artist, a very famous inventor, and one of his biggest dreams in life was to fly. Now, they had hot air balloons at the time, that's something that they used to get around from time to time, but guess what? If the wind was going west and you wanted to go east, well guess what? You're going west, and that's all there is to it. So it wasn't the best way to get around. It wasn't, you know, a, a, a way that you'd go, hey, I want to go visit my friend over there. You can't do that. Now, Da Vinci, he would see things in the sky already. He would see birds. He was like, well, if birds can do it, why can't I? So he set out to make a heavier than air flying machine, which we now call airplanes. And what he wanted to do is make something that flew on its own, that wasn't just like a hot air balloon, that you could steer and move around and go really fast through the air. Unfortunately, it never came around. He tried so many different things, he never got it to fly. But the thing that he did is he set down the foundations of how aviation works, what, what air does over a thing. Something is probably more important about how a plane flies is how a plane doesn't fly. And Leonardo da Vinci discovered hundreds of ways that an airplane doesn't fly. So because he was put he put all of that into the foundation of aviation, other people followed in his footsteps. Later on, a couple hundred years later, people made things like gliders. They were able to jump off of a big cliff and like, you know, glide around and stuff. But the issue was that anything that you would try to push forward wasn't able to stay in flight. You'd just kind of keep going down and down and down, then you'd have to land. It wasn't until the early 1900s that the Wright brothers made the very first powered airplane. And what that means is that they took one of these giant gliders that they had, they put a massive engine on it along with a person, they were able to keep a plane going after it had been like set off. Now the first couple of flights were, were not very spectacular. You know, it started out the very first flight was only 12 seconds and it went about 120 feet and uh, the top speed of it was about 6.8 miles an hour. That's nothing. You can run faster than that. Nowadays, our jet engines, the things that, that take us from place to place, they go over 600 miles an hour. That's almost 100 times the speed. After the Wright brothers created that first powered flight, aviation just took off, figuratively and literally, where it just got bigger and bigger and bigger, better planes, faster planes, more agile things, until we got things like the fighter planes in like World War I, which was only a couple of decades after the first powered flight. That's progress that's like just unparalleled as far as technology goes. And nowadays we just use it every day. You know, if you wanna to go to, from New York to Los Angeles, you're gonna take a plane. You're not gonna take a car or train or anything. You wanna get there in a day. And that's something that aviation has allowed us to do.